Hello and welcome back to the DIY hosting of a WordPress website video series. Up to now, we've managed to get a WordPress website running in a Docker container alongside a SQL database exposed through a, a hole on port 80 in our home router out to the internet, such that if we type in our public IP address into a browser from anywhere on the internet, we're able to see a WordPress website. This is great. In the previous video, we talked about what a domain name is, what you actually own when you buy one, and we talked about the value of a DNS server and why one is required. In this video, we're going to join the dots by setting up a DNS server using Cloudflare. At the end of the last video, I mentioned that you should register for a Cloudflare account. So I'm assuming at this point that you have. So this is what we're going to be doing in this video. We're going to visit cloudflare.com and log in with the account that you've created. On the home screen, we're going to click on the add site button and we're going to type in your domain. We'll select a plan when we're prevent presented with the plan options and you're probably going to want to select the, f the free option. And then Cloudflare will scan your site's DNS settings and populate them for you in Cloudflare. You'll notice when it does this though, that it's pointing to an IP address which isn't your uh, home router's IP. And this is because it's pointing to your registrar's name server. So we will need to go to our registrar or hosting organization's website and have the name servers pointed to Cloudflare. So let's get going over to the desktop and I'll show you this process in my Cloudflare account. Okay, so I've got my desktop here with my browser pointing to Cloudflare and I've skipped the first three points in the previous slide so that you don't have to watch me fill in my domain um, and select a plan. And also it takes a few seconds for the DNS records to be returned from my existing registrar. So I saved all of that and this is the page you will get to. These are the automatically populated DNS settings down here that will have been pulled from my registrar's DNS server. And what you can see is the mapping between an IP address and my domain, singleentity.com in this case. This IP address is the IP address of the DNS server that my registrar uses. This is not my router's public IP address. So this will be a problem and we will need to change this. So we'll click continue for now because that wasn't the page where we make changes. And now it's asking us to change the name server. Now for me, I know that I can log in to my 123reg account with whom I bought my domain and change the name server settings quite easily. And I'm sure that's the same for you. You might have to find out how to do that with your registrar, but it, it should be fairly straightforward. And for me, it looks like this. So in my 123reg settings, I'm able to go to this page, which is name server management. And you can see there are four slots for name servers, and these are the default ones. And you'll recognize this if you if you noticed on the uh, Cloudflare page, these match what it says here, what it's telling us to remove. So Cloudflare has actually scraped this from our registrar. So we need to replace these two with the Cloudflare DNS, sorry, name server addresses. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it in here and I'll do the same for name server two and put it in there. Click update and hopefully I'll get a message to tell me it was updated. Excellent, success, name servers, successfully updated. So now that's done, I'll go back to Cloudflare and at the bottom I can click done, check name servers. So I'll click that. Now it'll ask us about encryption and for now we're going to say none, so click off. This is just for now, you certainly do not want a website hosted in this way. Cloudflare actually offers a form of flexible encryption, but for now we just want to select off. So do that and then click done at the bottom. Okay, so the process of moving name servers can take up to 48 hours to propagate, which means there is nothing else we can actually do until that's completed but rest assured you have set this up correctly. The only thing we can do is go to the DNS settings and make a few changes in anticipation of this being set up. So I can tell you now there are a few things in here you don't need. So let's get rid of them. For now, 
we certainly don't need these bottom two associations for the MX records. These refer to the old, what has now been changed, um, location for our uh, name servers. So as if I was using 123reg. So I'm going to get rid of those. Uh, delete, delete, absolutely don't need them. And in your case, it'll be the same because you're no longer using this service. Delete, delete. You also don't need the wildcard A record, so you can delete that as well. This leaves you at the moment with two. Now, throughout this course, we're going to be coming back to this page a lot to be adding various types of records. But for now, these are the only two we need. An A record is very simple. It's a mapping between IP and domain name. The www is basically saying allow that as a subdomain as well. A subdomain is simply a string of text before the main domain name. So in the case of World Wide Web, if we were to type in www.single-entity.com, we would go to the same IP address as if we just typed in single-entity.com. So the one thing we can change here is that this IP address isn't our router's public IP address. Therefore, if we were to type in our domain, we're going to the wrong place. In fact, this IP address was scraped by Cloudflare and it belongs to 123reg and it's an advertisement. So if I go to my website's domain, I get this advertisement for using their website builder. So that's no good, I don't want that. I want to go to my actual router. I want my WordPress page to appear. So we can just simply change these IP addresses to our public IP address for our router. In my case, it's 81.174.156.87, but no doubt, well, yours certainly will be necessarily different. So you make those changes and click save and we are done. There's now nothing left to do except to wait. It does, even after changing this, if I go back to uh, the browser where I've got my domain name and refresh, I'm still getting the same page. And that's because the name servers haven't propagated around the internet yet. It takes up to 48 hours and therefore we simply have to wait. There's nothing else we can do. So hopefully you have found this useful and hopefully your domain is now set up and registered with Cloudflare and you're on the same waiting game as me. If you enjoyed this video, please do like it and please do subscribe to my course and you'll get the updates as new videos are made available. We're soon going to be talking about encryption in the later videos and setting up a Nginx reverse proxy so that we can get HTTPS going, which means shortly we will have an encrypted website running on our, web, uh, our Raspberry Pi through our home router through um, HTTPS. So it's very exciting. So please come back for the next video and I will see you there.